Throughout Scripture, we're encouraged to pray. Think with me of 1 Thessalonians 5, where Paul writes, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In Ephesians chapter 6, Paul writes, Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. It's been wonderful to reopen our campus and to step into a new teaching series on the life of Hezekiah with this theme of responding to the unexpected. One of the key takeaways we see in the life of Hezekiah is his attitude towards God. When life's unexpected events happened, well, Hezekiah's first response was to pray. In Pastor John's first sermon in this teaching series, he said something so interesting, that prayer changes the course of history and that prayer changes situations and circumstances. And we see this in the life of Hezekiah. He prayed and God responded. We see this in the life and ministry of Jonah. Jonah preached to the citizens of Nineveh that God's judgment was coming, yet the people of Nineveh responded in prayer and repentance, so God showed mercy. See, the reality is God's sovereignty and His will well, they include our prayers. Some people would say prayer is not a matter of changing things externally, but working miracles internally. That prayer changes us, it conforms us more into God's image. That prayer is not about changing situations and circumstances. See, here's the beautiful thing, the powerful thing about prayer. Prayer changes things and prayer changes us. You see, prayer places us in contact with an almighty God. And so we can expect almighty results because God changes things and God changes us through prayer. So here's my encouragement to you this morning. Pray because God changes us to be more like him in response to prayer. And pray because God does change situations and circumstances in response to prayer.